Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on Legacy United Sideburn. Now, let's be honest, we all knew that this guy was coming because when they first showed off Shadow Striker, this guy had a lot of sideburn like traits. You know, the windshield on the arm, the way that the bumper and the gun could combine. Yeah, this was pretty much just a sideburn pre-tool. Although, this did also double as a homage to Universe Shadow Striker, but... Yeah, this was pretty much meant to be a sideburn pre-tool. So, uh, yeah. But now that we have sideburn, well... How is this figure as the intended character? Well, let's start off by looking at the box. Well, of course, we've got the standard United box. So, of course, we've got, oh, well, you see the figure. We've got Sideband's vehicle mode, which, yeah, it's not a Dodge Viper, but licensing ball crap and all that, so it makes sense. Robots in Disguise 2001 Universe, not 2000 Universe like with Toyline and Scourge, nope. It's now 2001 Universe. Okay. But the side, we got Sideburn just running at someone, I guess. Got a close up of his face. The side, got one half of the mural. The back got him in both modes. Got, I guess, what would be the the Evo Fusion gimmick? I know that's not what they call it for United, but this was the Evo Fusion gimmick for Sh uh, Shadow Striker, so I I guess it also counts for a sideburn. I don't know, but it's the um, bumper gun that he had on his original toy. So yeah. That's, that's pretty much it for the box. And we're moving on to the figure. Well, right off the bat, yeah, my phone does not want to focus on this guy just because of how dark blue he is. So I'm going to have to manually focus on this guy for most of the video. But well... Of course, as I said, he's not a Dodge Viper. And, yeah, that's going to piss a lot of people off, but... The, well, there's a reason for that. Licensing reasons. Like, they can't just literally make him a Dodge Viper and get, and get away with it, so... That's why he's this generic car. Trust me, I love the vehicle mode of the original vehicle... Oh, well, I love the vehicle mode of the original figure, but yeah, they can't just make him a Dodge Viper with the new uh, figure, so we're left with this, which, I mean, this does look quite nice, but yeah, compared to the original figure, this vehicle mode is just, mm. but while looking at it, we've got... The uh, flame details on the side here. It's like really nice. The pegs are actually painted to uh, match the the wheel here, which I think is a really nice touch. And something that they uh, sometimes do, sometimes don't, you know. Like, they didn't do it on Shadow Striker, but they did it on this guy. Got the engine here, which is something that Cyber normally has. Got some more flame details here. Got some more flames on this side here as well, which looks pretty nice. Got the, uh, I guess, yellow windshield. The back got the uh, bumper, which, yes, does come off a of transformation, but. Well, the same happened with the original figure, so I guess it's just trying to be like the original figure, so 
In the back, we pretty much just have a lot of uh, white. Because it's like this whole armored shirt that folds up with the transformation. So, uh, yeah, not really much to talk about. He does roll quite well. Like, fitting for this character, he does roll really well. Like, not to. He doesn't roll the length of the entire dash, but he still rolls really well. So, if I'm bored, I can just, like, roll. Uh, across my uh, desk if I want to, so that's a plus. And for accessories, well, aside from the uh, bumper, we also have this gun, which is based on his, uh, like, not the missile launcher that the uh, 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 original figure had, but the other gun. And, yeah, this, this looks pretty good. And this can just go on top, like so. And this can also take a blast effect, so if you want shooting at, I guess, Predacons, then there you go. Because, yes, in Robots in Disguise 2001, it was not Decepticons. At least, initially, it, it was Predacons. And then we got some... Look, the show is kind of weird, okay? Oh, yeah, we can have him shooting, which is pretty cool. And while putting him with Shadow Striker, we can see how they look together, and honestly, they look kind of good together. Like, Cyburn has some, some added details, which are the flames here, but Shadow Striker doesn't have. The wheels are painted better. I mean, Shadow Striker does have some more details, like the tail lights here. But still, these still look quite good together. And here is the original toy with this guy. So we can see how the original toy looked. And honestly, I think I prefer the original toy's vehicle mode because. As I said, that was a freaking Dodge Viper. But, again, I can understand why this toy doesn't transform into that, because, as I said, licensing reasons. But still, just the, the, uh, 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 I, I cannot speak, but the original vehicle mode just looks really, really cool. Whereas with this... This just looks like a generic car that I would probably see, like, on my own in the street or something. But, well, if we move on to the robot mode, well... So, the transformation on the original figure was quite complicated, like... The the legs on the original figure just uh, folded out, but the torso... The torso on the original figure was really confusing, whereas on this figure, I mean, it's definitely quite simplified, but honestly, I think it's kind of um, interesting. So to start, we're just going to take the windshield, which is just pegged into one of the... Oh, like the windshield is just pegged into one of the forearms here. We'll just move that up. And peg the doors and just fold them out like so. Then get the arms out like so. So just move them up. Take the back. That just came off. But just take the bumper off. And it does actually lead me to a complaint. This windshield often comes off this peg here, which is really annoying and Shadow Striker doesn't have this issue so I don't know if it's like mold degradation or what but it's really annoying but anyway just take the bumper off the legs we're just going to unpeg these from here just 
And it, in fact, the thighs even peg into here, so just try and get them unpegged as well. And just swing them down. There we go. Move the feet down so he can stand. Pushing the front. There we go. So we've got his chest. Just flay the flay out the arms like so. What I like to do is take this windshield here and just rotate this around 180 degrees. Take this whole armature here and just collapse all that up. Then move these little coattails down. Move the arms down. Move the little shield up. And well, here we have Sideburn in robot mode. And that's a sort of fiddly transformation. It was on Shadow Striker and it is here. Although, don't get me wrong, it's not as fiddly as the original figure. That is... Ooh! Like, if I gave this to a kid, they would probably manage it after a bit of practice, but if I gave the original figure to a kid, I I doubt that... I just doubt that they, like, they could uh, transform the uh, uh, original figure words of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they could manage this after a, a, a bit of practice. But the resulting robot mode, yeah, this is pretty much just a generation sideburn without recoloring hot rods. Still kind of want that figure though, but anyway. So, sideburn here looks pretty nice in robot mode. I mean, there are a few key details that, that are missing, such as the uh, bumper on the right shoulder. But still, I can look at this and say, it's sideburn. Having a 360, of course, we have the huge shield on his uh, left arm. I have it turned around because on the original figure, the, uh, well, the windshield was meant to be facing upwards on the Original figure, so that's why I, I got this turned around. C compared to the back of the box, where they didn't turn the thing around. The back, we just have these two wheels here. And we have got a port here if you want to plug in a weaponizer or, or something else. If you want, you can actually plug in the gun here. Because there's a little port here, there's a little thing there, so you can plug in the gun. I'll just quickly do this off camera actually. There we go. So if you don't want them with the gun, then just can't go into here for a bit of storage. And if we look at the head. I mean, of course, they retooled the head to be sideburns head, and that is a really accurate head sculpt. Because he's got the little eye thing, he's got the little, uh, I guess, earpiece. But yeah, that is Sideburn's head, no doubt. And seeing this, I hope we get the other two Autobot brothers. I don't know, like, how we would get them, maybe, like, new molds. Maybe Retool Trailbreaker into x -Bron. I I don't know. But seeing how Hasbro is hell bent on, on completing teams now, we need the other two Autobot brothers. Come on. And if we just give him his accessories, well, of course, we just give him the gun. And that just, just replicates the uh, non-missile launcher gun. Or if we do want to replicate the missile launcher, well, we can just take the uh, 
bumper. Because, yeah, I weapon to parts forming it. Yeah, I know, but... This just plugs onto the front here. There we go. And now this replicates the missile launcher garden. So, yeah. And it still can't take a blast effect of all. I think I'm going to use a different colored one just to make it stand out more. So, there you go. And of course, we've got some ports here on the feet. If you want to plug in some blast effects or whatever, maybe armorizer ports. Got some ports here in the arms. One on the windshield here, one on the back. And there's even one right on the top here. So, there. Who are you calling Pinhead? I'm glad that they still do the, the uh, combat port thing, even well into Legacy. <laughs> and well, just putting him with Shadow Striker, and of course I've got some things uh, oriented differently so they didn't look alike. These two still look really good together. I mean, you can still see some sideband like elements with Shadow Striker, like the little badge on the forearm. Of course, the entire shield on the arm, which gets probably plugged just onto the back, but eh. But still, these two look quite good together. And honestly, I think I kind of like sideband more than Shadow Striker. And if we put them next to the uh, original figure, which, uh, yeah, the picture that I used has the windshield going over his face, but still, I think I actually prefer the new figure over the original figure when it comes to the robot mode. Yeah, the original figure had the Dodge Viper vehicle mode, but the new and robot mode just looks kind of cleaner in my opinion. So, yeah, I think I kind of preferred the uh, Legacy version's robot mode. Now, for this, well, for this guy's articulation, the head can go side to side, can sort of look up and down. The uh, shoulders are kind of weird, because like, to sort of a rotated 90 degrees, but still he can... Like, it's not like... The arms can't go fully, but he, he can still move his arm upwards. He can still T-pose. Oh, just move that out of the way for now. So he can T-pose. Elbows, bicep rotation there, but it's actually more at the shoulder here. Wrist rotation, yeah, hand rotation. If we move the coattails out of the way, waist rotation, he can kick forward, he can kick back. The knees actually peg in, which on my Shadow Striker, these have broken off, but on Sidebend, they still plug in quite well, actually. So, hopefully these don't break off, but you can do the splits. Ankle pivot. Fire rotation. And the feet can move. So, yeah, quite poseable. And I suppose I should just talk about this. This keeps coming off. You even saw it during the transformation. 
I don't know if, it, if it's a QC thing on just my copy, but you see, it just comes off way too easily. I'm pretty sure my Shadow Striker doesn't even do that. Oh no. So, turns out Shadow Striker does that as well. So, it's a mold wide uh, problem. Well, still, it's really, it's really annoying. And if anything, I, I think that's my biggest complaint with this guy. So, yeah. Because, if anything, I, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about this guy. So, complaints, this coming off. This just keeps coming off of this peg right here. <sighs> yeah, that is just really annoying. But for other complaints, I think both of my complaints are pretty much the same ones that I've had with Shadow Striker. I mean, I could complain that this guy's not a Dodge Viper, but as I said, Licensing re reasons. They can't just make him a Dodge Viper without getting sued to hell and back. So, of course, they compromised and just made him a, gen a generic sports car instead. It's a bit. It's inferior to the. Uh, 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 it's inferior to the older vehicle mode, but still, they do make up for it with, with the uh, new vehicle uh, robot mode, though at least. But yeah. Pretty much, the complaints are the same that I had with Shadow Striker. So, do I recommend this guy? Well, I mean, if you weren't a fan of Shadow Striker, then this might not be a figure for, for you. But, if you're a fan of R.A.D. 2001, if you love Sideburn, then, honestly, I'd say that give this guy a shot. Because, I think that this guy looks a bit better than the original figure when it comes to the robot mode. And I definitely like this guy more than Shadow Striker, because I mean, this this is the intended use for the mold after all. I mean, like, what else would they use this for? Roulette. But yeah, I would say if you like Sideburn, if you like Robots in Disguise 2001, then yeah, I would say go ahead and get this guy. But if you didn't like Shadow Striker, then yeah, you might not like this guy. In my opinion, I actually like this guy, and well, I like him more than Shadow Striker. So, and well, I just want to see the other two Autobot Bros to go with this guy. So, and well, this has been my review on Legacy United Sideburn, and this is Charlie Young signing off.